Comedian and Minnesota native Liz Winstead is back in the Twin Cities for her ninth straight year of giving her take on the year that was. We are happy to have Liz back with us on Mid Morning. I made the mistake of making a joke at her expense and, and she came right back. Right back I at actually you. thought yes. that he was going to get away with giving me crap when he's well, sitting here with his Fitbit on. How many weird. calories do you burn here in the Mid Morning looked. Show? Walking so from this steps. set to this <laughs> I step. I'm gonna go up to the roof every once in a while. Oh, I know. All right, so we're going about like this, like pretending you know what you're talking about with the weather. I know it's job. a lot of pointing, a lot of nonsense. Shoes are tight too. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we talked about your word <laughs> of the year for 2018. It is feckless. Why? Okay. What's behind um, that? Well, I think Sam B. You know, used it um, in a in oh, a, in a right. way that was. Um, I'm not gonna say the rest. No. You won't be just all yanked off. Um, but I think that the haphazard stumbling towards anything normal is sort of what happened all year. You know, we've just watched, uh, we've watched our president on Twitter being feckless. We've watched our politicians be feckless. We've watched um, people who are, I mean, here in Minnesota, a woman put her head in a tailpipe at a concert in Winstead, Minnesota. Right. So um, it's not I even. About it's, that. No, yes, I I, everyone too. did. There's so many questions. <laughs> First of all, I've never seen a tailpipe that will accommodate a head. Yeah. Nor have I ever seen a tailpipe that looked so interesting, I wondered what was in it. I, mean, I don't know. I guess I've never looked inside one, and now I'm a little bit curious. I think there's a lot enough. of alcohol I involved. Believe that's yes. True. Now, I know that you're. Show is about politics and it's about I, politics I'm and a little you bit the world. The president a little bit, but you also said you talk about some Minnesota stories. Well, I mean, Minnesota had this weird. First of all, there was the Dayton's monkey. Oh my oh, goodness! I forgot about, I the forgot about that. The Dayton and the NPR raccoon. Yes, of oh, course. Gosh. Of course. You Big know, year for animals. Which, yes. you know, it certainly is true when animals are just trying to escape the earth. Is that, <laughs> in the walls of Dayton's yes. and the walls of NPR, yeah. you know that oh. it's because animals only go on instinct. Yeah. So let's remember that. The Dayton's that one didn't say. make it. The raccoon had some better luck. Yeah, well, the mm -hmm. Dayton's monkey, that whole story was like. Crazy. I mean, my mom loved to bargain at Dayton's. So I was like, actually, I said to my sisters, was that mom? And they were like, no, it was a monk. No, no. So, was yeah, she there on, um, they used to have those big sales at Dayton's, and my yes. mom was like one of those stampede women. And I'm guessing that you're referencing some celebrities as well. Um, always referencing celebrities. It's a big I year think, for Kanye. Big year for Kanye. Kanye year. You know, um, he's trying to make something great again. I'm not quite clear. Uh, Roseanne. I don't think he's clear. Oh, Roseanne, Roseanne yes. you know, she uh, said some racist comments and then blamed it on Ambien. Which, um, what haven't you blamed on Ambien, though? I, mean, I believe that, you know, when Ambien fires back on Twitter and says there are some side effects <laughs> to Ambien, but racism isn't one of them, Gosh, you know that it's so like, good. I know, it's like a lot, right? You know, it's, it, it is funny. Is it difficult to kind of sit down and look back at the year and just digest it all? Because you're naming things, and we do the news every day, yeah, we and I've forgotten about, that. about most That's of this That's right. Stuff. Tide Pods was this year. Um, I know, there's a lot of stuff. And so for me, it's going all through it and saying, what is the thing that people, I, I, I base my choosing material on, if I don't talk about this, will people be bummed out? Yeah. So some stuff that's my pet stuff, I'm like, oh, you know what? You just gotta let it go. But like every gaff, every verbal gaff, every tweet can't be covered. You know, I could do a show about yesterday. Yeah, yeah right. I know, no kidding, about. right. Well, you can see Liz's show. I really don't caravan, do you? Good name, by the way, a comedic year in review at the Cedar Cultural Center Sunday at 2 p.m. and at 7.30 p.m. and New Year's Eve at 7.30 p.m. You can go to WCCO.com slash links for ticket information. Thanks so much for coming Thanks in. Thanks for having me. I love seeing you guys, and you better watch it. I'll be careful. I'll get you the uh, calorie information here shortly. Thanks. I think we're at like 8,000 steps. Mm -hmm.